Hi, I'm Cindy Clower with Riley Blake Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make a face mask. Why a face mask? I was recently sick with the flu and I couldn't get around my family without one and I didn't want to expose them to all the germs I had. In fact, I think we need to be a lot more careful about germs. So I made my own mask when I started feeling better about day three, day four, but it was fiddly. It was a little hard to make and so I thought, why not make a mask cover? So you can use the traditional mask and you can just slip it inside just like that. So if you have a little a friend under the weather or you know someone who is experiencing some immunosuppression, meaning that they, they can't be exposed to germs, this is something nice to make for them. And isn't it fun to make it in fun colors? So look how easy it is to put inside, then you use, and there's your mask. So I'll show you how easy it really is to make. The first thing you need is your favorite fabrics, bright, cheery fabrics. Perhaps it's a child who needs to wear a mask. You can make fun fabrics for that child. This is one of my favorites as bright colors. All right, so you just need about an eight and a half by 16 inch piece. I used this mask is my template. I just made it an inch wider than the mask here. So you can make it adjustable if you're making it for a child. I just used a ruler and cut down the sides. Just super easy to cut the width of the ruler, 16 inches long. The next thing you're gonna do is you're just going to roll the sides. And I just give them a quick press and I don't, I, get, I do pin them a little bit. So this is the perfect thing to use your clapper on. I'm going to steam this first. And then as I roll and press, just kind of a fourth inch, I just kind of follow it with the clapper to hold it down. And then I come to the other side. Give it a blast it with steam. And as I'm going along there, just give it a quick roll and follow it up there. And then I'm going to come back over here and roll it again. Just finish that edge. I'm just going to give it a little steam as I go. Don't want to get my fingers too close to that. Oops, let me just. Okay, just try it out with your mask. Make sure, yep, it's plenty wide. And it's, it's pressed pretty well, so you hardly have to pin. That's what I love about this clapper. It just is pressed really well. Just going to. I'm not going to pin it all along the way, just the beginning and the end. So I'm just using my black thread and I'm going to do a top stitch on both sides. Okay, I have top stitched down both sides. Now we're going to prepare our pleats for the mask. And I just kind of toss it over and kind of get a bit of luck. I start about uh, two inches up. Just kind of make a mark. Mark. There, it's a little harder to see on the black. And then I take about a half inch pleat and I just make it even on both sides. Put it out there. And I I'm going to pin that, pin that, and then I take another two inches up. I 
and do another half inch down like that. Make sure it's measuring straight across. And then you can flip it over like that. And since you've already got those markings, you can just make sure it lines up. So I see there's my two inch right there. I'm gonna pull that down. So they're ready to go. And now I'm gonna take it back to the machine and just go right over my top stitch. So I'm gonna back stitch and go over. So it's essentially top stitching this section twice. All right, I'm just gonna trim my threads. It's just a couple dangling off. There we go. And you just line up your bottom seam and I just need to sew across this but I'm going to do a French seam so I'm going to sew across this and then flip it inside out and then there'll be no raw edges and then sew it again I'll show you what I mean so the first thing I'll sew it here let me do that quickly it's like almost less than a top stitch just just almost at the edge of the fabric so I've sewn across this edge like this, and now the next thing to make it a French seam, I'll flip it inside out. And let me give it a press right here. So you've got a nice crisp edge and then I'm going to go back over that seam on my machine and it's going to take out that first seam you made and then you'll have an invisible seam. All right, so I've sewn across there. So there's kind of our invisible seam. I'm just gonna trim up those threads. Very good. Oh, there's one right here. I missed last time. I'm gonna flip it inside out. I should be finished, but let me take a look at it. Okay, so it's, sometimes when you do a French seam, some of the little threads have come through because you do a, just a scant little seam and then you do a fourth inch on top. So every once in a while you'll get these tiny little threads. I'm just gonna trim them right off. Again, this is just quick and easy sewing for a, a simple project. And it's finished. And all you need to do now is put in your mask and it's so much softer and it feels so much better. And when you're really under the weather, you really want the softest material around your face. So which would you rather wear? This mask or this mask? You choose.